Hello, everybody. I'm Will. And I'm Kristen. And this is So I'm Watching Yellow Jacket, Season 1, Episode 4. Bear Down. Which was not about uh, a, bear. a bear attack, as I was assuming. It was about Coach Scott pooping. And also just yeah. life. Just bear down. Take it. <laughs> um, it, it It's interesting. Yeah. I, I am enjoying it. There are definitely frustrating elements of the show for me. Um, I just... I don't like Travis. I don't care. Yeah. So, hey, like, I see what they're doing because I'm, like, slightly more sympathetic now. And, like, when he gave the ring back to his, like, and everything. He could always just yeah. not be mean to his brother. And then he wouldn't need well, and, a gesture. And every single one of the girls. Yeah. Like, taunting them about shooting a gun. I, so, I've said it before, but it was, like, I was raised with guns. And similarly, we were watching this with Rachel. And she was also raised with guns. And there's just, I don't have sympathy, patience, understanding for people who don't understand and don't treat guns with respect. Probably. And he yeah. he pointed a loaded gun at Natalie yeah. because she called him a nickname he didn't like. And I just, it's... Which nobody knows the story about but him. It, it's also just so stupid. It's that, like, no medical doctor is going to be removing a teenager's ribs so he can blow himself better. It Like, none of it. Because <laughs> I even remember hearing that, yeah. like, in middle school. Because, yeah. again, it was apparently a 90s rumor. Yeah, I was like, oh, that rumor was around even longer I remember I being 12 and being like, this is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> like, what? It... I also don't think it's strictly your ribs that no, keep you from bending that It's far. your spine and your flexibility. It's yeah. like, because I've... <laughs> I've, there are people who can do it, but it's like it, it's it's like less than twelve yeah. percent of the population. I, and I feel like it takes you a long time to train. No, it's like a, it's a genetic. It's like an oh, anomaly. Like there are people who can do it. Bendy it, people. Yeah. Um, Naturally bendy people. Yeah. I mean, the same way that some people can like. Sure. Sure. Yeah. sure. Okay. Also, not for nothing, but endowment plays a. Ah, yes. <laughs> plays a role. <laughs> like I like this is a really weird tangent, but it's like I like no matter what, I feel like you're not deep throating yourself. <laughs> like I'm, I'm sure that's not how it's working out, right? <laughs> not that I've seen. I not that I can recall. Um, not that but... I've seen is what you just said. <laughs> Based on my anecdotal evidence. <laughs> Um, oh, I'm a little punchy. So I just like I don't know. I don't have a lot of of empathy or sympathy for yeah. his plight, and especially. And I mean, maybe it's the it, it speaks to the male female uh, experience, but it's like Natalie's just handling her trauma so much better. So it's like, yeah. Well, that's the thing too. Is like I think at this point, I only give a crap about Travis for how he serves Natalie's story. I mean, it appears that we've like made a breakthrough, so I guess I should in, hope so. In yeah. that regard, it it's nice, and I mean, because she does seem real broken up that he's dead, and I feel like she would be slightly less broken up if he remained a dick the whole rest of the time. Well, and it's interesting. It's interesting to note because we we were speculating earlier on in our coverage, but we were like wondering who survived, and like in our episode one, I was like, I wonder if any men survived, and clearly he had. Yeah, and I understand that it serves story purposes now but there's a part of me that i'm like man it sucks that he's survived up until this point yeah so it's like we still won't get to know him yeah as an adult i don't know it's, uh, weird. It, it's interesting um fucking fucking misty because they they kind of have way no they don't i was gonna be like they kind of have ways of sort of earning some of her behavior and not you anymore <laughs> yeah yeah at, yeah at first <laughs> yes but it's like also well no i just anytime that i go to defend her i'm like no yeah. she tore the thing out of the black box yeah. that's just no well also i like get that she's the one with like this like quasi medical experience but like there are two boys also on this trip one of them should be helping the coach poop in the woods it should not be misty it's weird. It's super <laughs> weird. She's also, he's like getting annoyed and angry with her and like lashing out. And so she tripped him at the end of this episode. I don't know. And she's also in the present day. She's following Natalie around on her meeting with Kevin. And then she calls Shauna at the end and she's like, Travis is dead. I don't. What is she doing? She also seemingly kidnapped a woman from the like old folks home where she worked. To the point where I made you. I was like, what did I miss? I was like, I feel like I missed something. And you're like, no, no, th nope. this is weird. You are correct to Super be. <laughs> but we also know that the 
that like reporter lady is following Natalie around too. And so Misty gets in her face and the lady was just sort of grinning at her. And I'm on the one hand, I'm like, yeah, don't take it from Misty. And on the other hand, I was like, Misty's going to chop you up in a little pieces and feed her to the old. Oh, home. she quite literally was like, you should be afraid of me. Yeah. I know. I don't she look didn't like someone say watch out for me. Yeah. She didn't say I'll surprise you. But blah, blah. she was like, you need to have fear. Yeah. And that is, that is a slightly different thing, especially the, the framing of it. Cause she, she literally said, I know I don't look like someone you should be afraid of, but you're wrong. Mm-hmm. And I was, just like ah. <laughs> I'm curious to see so I I've been debating whether or not I should mention this I read a comment and I don't know if it applied to this uh but the implication was that it did and apparently they have this this is potentially one of what they hope to be a five season story oh shit <laughs> it That's changes the game a little bit for me because yeah. I was really approaching this like a limited series. Um, I don't know. I based on some stuff that I saw, it seems like it could at least go one more. Well, so if if the, if what I read was in fact true, we could potentially be and five. We'll see. Five we'll, feels like a lot. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I just would hope that they actually have a a plan. Yeah. And aren't just by the seat of their pants. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the, the, it appears that in the woods back in the 96 that the girls have buried that body. It was a man that lived yeah. in this the attic or he was cabin dead in the attic. who was some type of a doomsday prepper. Um, so that threat um, yeah. of, of a ghost in the house is, is gone for now. <laughs> um, although Lottie is still hanging on. Yeah. With. They were scavenging. They were scavenging for stuff, and I was like, "I need them to find a plant that mimics her medication because mm-hmm. she's not doing good." It was she was staring at the, the like uh, rune uh, yeah, that like symbol again. Yeah. Um, and they found presumably that person's plane, and it did still work. It turned on, but nothing came of that. They didn't talk about it. No, they didn't do anything else yet. And also, I mean, it's it's small, so only a couple of people could take it anywhere and you sort of have to know where you are before you can choose a direction. And there's also it's in the woods. So they'd have to get it down to the beach in order to take off. There's like too much going on. Jackie almost died and decided to use it as payback for Vanessa where she's like, we're like even now. Right. And Vanessa was like, (laughs) not really. (laughs) I mean, I, (laughs) I'm still a little split about that. Yeah. Because I don't know. Well, <laughs> we'll see. Um, well, because if the plane, if that's the case, though, then how did it get there? I guess because the landscape has probably changed a lot. Potentially. Um, we're still doing Ty's whole political career. I still think I, I think it's even more misguided now. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I I, I do find her scenes interesting. Uh, I, we haven't talked about her wife a ton. Her wife's name is Simone. I do appreciate the tonal shift that is their story. Mm-hmm. Um, it's also still like a ghost, a haunted house story. I don't know about that little boy, man. He's And they're treating it as such. Like the production is treating yeah, the, him like a scary. But Taisa and Simone are not. No, they are no. treating him like he is their normal, average, everyday son. Like it's I, rascally, and it's the Babadook. I watched the episode where we first talked about him, and I was sort of still trying to sleep, and so the us music started, and I was like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> when I put that in, yeah, <laughs> that was last. I did that late last night. I know. I watched it this morning. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it spooked me. I um, well, the tethered. I knew yeah. they were called something. I couldn't remember what it yeah. was. So, yeah, he is definitely spooky. They're not treating it like it's any different. Like, they find him literally hiding in the armoire. Which, how did he get in there? Because the way they were talking about it. No. <laughs> yeah. And they're just like, did you finish your noodles? Go back downstairs and Yeah, it was noodles. like he teleported from downstairs into the armoire. What? <laughs> it's terrifying. He is terrifying. But um, Props to that little boy. He is doing the most, and I love it. I also appreciate, because Rachel made a comment about how beautiful their house is. The, oh, like, yeah. The, colors. It's painted in really bold. It is nice to get sort of these visual, like, 
not so much cues, but just to break up the show and really sort of, yeah, it, it, it's doing a couple different things. Because I saw a comparison of the show. Uh, let's go with Lost. I don't think it was Lost. It might have been Lord of the Flies. I'm not sure. But they were like, you know, blank Lost meets now and then. And I was mm, like, kind of. That's yeah. interesting. Um, But Ty, Ty was trying to impress this rich lady. Yeah. And they had this really interesting, really good scene. And there's just this. I, I'm going to have to let it go. Either either there's information we as the audience don't have, yeah. or I'm just going to have to stop fighting this specific plot point because it's come up a lot. Yeah. But there is a certainty among the people that there is more to the story than what the girls have said. Yeah. And I will go ahead and say that n all of their behavior is suspicious. <laughs> yeah. So in that regard, then maybe. But like, uh, you're right, because it's as if we, the audience, are missing something because the implication is that that the public in this world has more information than we do, in which case there it, is. It's like someone stood up and said there's more to this. Right. And, and the, then disappeared. The implication or... to me is that there was like enough of something or like enough discrepancies with something or like they when they finally found them, they found the other bodies and there was like enough proof to determine that like not all of them died at the same time or something. But like we have no but way of knowing that even still. And I'm asking, I mean, are you going? Does that not so, like, OK, the what's the Donner party or what? Yeah. Did they then go on trial? Like were they know. tried for murder or? Because I'm sort of like, well, I don't think did they murder? I thought they just ate their dead. Did they murder? Because like the people in Alive, <laughs> I don't think they murdered. I think they just ate their dead. And I'm sure that was their story. Well, but my my point is, a lot of like I get the 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 human desire for like gossip for like tawdry like all for for the details, but also. Can't you kind of just assume, like, don't we just assume that, like, it got pretty primal? Like, I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I'm curious. It, it, it's not a big enough issue for me that it fully derails me watching the show. But there is a part of me where I'm like, what is this insistence that they're. Yeah, that's the thing is, like, there's like in every single episode, at least one person is like, why don't you tell me what really happened out there? And, and I like, kind of expect Ty to kind of be like, what do you think? Yeah. Like. I'll give you a hint. Yeah. You're probably not far off. It rhymes like, with schmanable. <laughs> or even, or even, because it's like, it, cannibal isn't exactly the first place I would go, but it's like, I think it would be fair to imagine that maybe, like, someone, that manslaughter's probably on the table. So, okay, that's- Do you know what I mean? Like <laughs> That's my point, and what I was kind of talking about in the first episode, where I was like, we don't know if that wasn't, like, a just punishment for someone's wrong behavior within this mini society that they had to establish. Perhaps that is the way that it's fucking brutal, but maybe that's the way they found out to punish. Like if you can make it through this like gauntlet, gauntlet then we're, you're good. But if you fall into the pit of spikes, you're dead, you know, which in that regard, then maybe I do feel like they need more. They can't just reintegrate into society. I feel like you need this. You need some therapy after that. <laughs> a no, minimum of therapy, yeah. if not <laughs> like institutional. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I totally agree. It's just that's I feel like that's my biggest complaint about the show right now is that uh, and it's not even necessarily a complaint. We but we are moving slowly and I feel like I need like one percent more information to like fully get a grasp. And I feel like we're going to get enough. To like, I'm enjoying it. And that's yeah. ultimately why I brought up the, the thing that I read about. This could be five seasons yeah. because I'm anticipating closure and maybe I need to take that off. It, yeah, <laughs> I think we're going to get some closure. I don't think we're going to get it's going to be like the finale of Lost. Mm -hmm. We're going to get a little bit of closure. Not enough. So Ty told off the rich lady. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, again, I find her whole story very. It's a little weird. Because yeah. I also I, I think Tawny, the actress, is very, very beautiful and charismatic and dynamic and i also kind of i do a little bit buy into her um idealism her optimism bordering on i guess naivete but can you really be naive if you've been through i don't know I, that's the thing that's the thing is what i don't love about her is that she believes that she can get through this campaign without this becoming 
the main talking point of her campaign. You know what I mean? Like, of course, everybody's going to ask you questions about it. Everybody. I'm surprised that it's not already the cornerstone of her campaign. Mm -hmm. That's the thing that's frustrating me about Taisa. Um, we had fucking, I don't, I don't trust Adam. No, I same. don't know what it is. It's weird. I, <laughs> <laughs> I love watching it, but he is bad news bears. And Shauna's still like, so I guess, I guess it's sort of like what we were talking about in the first episode with her very questionable yeah. masturbatory sure. <laughs> endeavors. But I guess she is a little stunted. Like she is sort of trying to live yeah, out. The whole episode is about her, like trying to recapture her misspent youth. Kind uh -huh. of. And so they're like, which if the pilot was any indication, she got plenty of that. Yeah. Maybe not all 10 years of it, Just but she got <laughs> banging down with her best friend's boyfriend. I mean, come on. Sneaking out, going to parties, drinking. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. So it's like there, but I, I do, I, I appreciate what she's doing because they like, they go to do this mini golf thing. They, um, well, they, get, get they get someone else to buy them liquor from the gas station. My head was reeling. <laughs> Just like a like a cheap ass gas station. Because I'm far driver. enough I'm far enough away from that place that I had kind of forgotten. But do you remember there was a good like seven years of my life <laughs> that when I lived that way? <laughs> Where I had because people always ask me why I had why I went to parties with water bottles. Yeah. <laughs> Full of alcohol. Full of one fifty one. I, I remember being like, it's not water. Like because I thought I, I thought it was so obvious when I was chasing my water with soda, like people thought I was sober and just doing it. So it like, oh, and I was like, I am hammered right now. <laughs> and it just like and like I said, I, I, I'm a good 10 years out of that by this point. And it came screaming yeah. back to me watching her pouring the cheapest alcohol he could buy into the orange juice. Yeah. And like I could I could smell that scene. Yeah. So. um. Did she get Misty called her and told her Travis died and yeah. she went into her house and was weird? I still want to know what her husband was doing. I still think it might not be exactly what I we... think she's having a revenge affair now. And we're going to find out that Jeff has not been fucking anybody. Yeah. That like he's only ever had sex with Shauna his entire life, you know, because he hasn't even slept with Jackie. No. And I, I still don't think Jackie makes it home. No. Well, especially not after that fucking. Yeah. Propeller. Vision, no, though the standing oh, on the bridge. Yeah, and then she had a vision of young Jackie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she jumped off a bridge with Adam too. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a lot. It's a lot going on. But um, oh, and then Natalie's. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah. we haven't even talked about Natalie's dad. I don't know. It's a very standard plot. Yeah, it, it's that that. I, I am really enjoying the show, but there's a handful of aspects where I'm like, this was on the checklist, wasn't it? Yeah, and it's a little cliche. I don't necessarily mind it, and especially because the ending of that story was less cliche, where, like, I just thought she straight up killed him the entire time. I I got I got the sense that this show was going to, it threatens you with thinking yeah. things are more than they are, and he just tripped and is an idiot and blew his own face off. He deserves it. Yeah, her fucking mother. Ugh. Useless. So, and I was correct that, because I was thrown for a loop when we met adult Kevin, because he looked nothing yeah. like that kid, and they recast that kid. Did they for only, sure yeah. recast? Yeah. Yeah, the kid was only in the first episode. It's an it's an, a, a, a new kid now young who Kevin. does look like the adult. Yeah, which is good. And um, then, so yeah, Natalie goes out to dinner with him, and uh, they talk about, uh, she she brings up Travis a lot. She's a little manipulate too, but it works, because she's like, I just not knowing if he was high when he killed himself, and blah, blah, because she also doesn't believe he killed well, himself. Well, and Kevin, I don't remember if we said, but Kevin's a cop. Kevin is a cop. So he yeah. is manipulatable. Yeah. For, or, and there, there's reason to yeah. use him that way. So um, he's going to look at the tox report to see if there were any drugs in, in uh, Travis's system. So yeah, I think that's mostly it. I'm still loving all the performances, especially. Because, like, even though Adam is suspicious and the whole storyline is sort of like, come on, I'm loving watching mm -hmm. Melanie Linsky do this. It's, like, one of the most fun things. And her, like, younger self is the... So they do get a deer. They go out hunting and mm -hmm. they get a deer. And Natalie and Travis. Natalie and Travis get a deer. After he gets that ring for his little brother, they go dig up his dad. Ugh. Um, But Shauna is like, I'd like to try to slit the deer's throat. And she does. So I think we've got... Some sort of, you know, impulses from everybody mm -hmm. that we're leaning into. 
So, okay. Well, I think we're going to watch the next episode and then yep. we'll get back to you. Bye. It's back. I'm back. Yeah, I'm standing on the rooftop. Shout it out. Baby, I'm ready to go.